Dear friends, I'd like to be all here today to celebrate the new life of Mary Herman. In life, Mary Church of Boston, may Christ now greet her with these words of eternal life. Come, listen to my call. In baptism, Mary received the sign of the cross, and she now shared in Christ's victory over sin and death. My brothers and sisters, we believe that all the ties of friendship and affection which hid us throughout our lives do not unravel with death. Come to God all the members of the good we've done, and forgive us of our faults. Let us pray, asking God to guide our Mary Hearn to Himself. Lord, in our brief eternity, are you not the God of love, who opened your ears to all? Listen to our prayers for our Mary Hearn, whom we have called from this world. Lead her to the kingdom of light and peace, and count her own heart and save to glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just on behalf of Father Henry and myself and with him here today, uh, we want to first of all share with the family today Mike, John, Edmund, and Tommy, our sisters Bridget and Margaret, our parents, we think of John and Eileen, our brothers Nicky, Dick, and Joe, and all the grandchildren and great great grandnieces and great great grandnieces. And nephews and uh, all those who share the heart in great gifts, the moment of life. So today is a day about saying thanks to your sister, thanks to your aunt, thanks to your grandaunt for the great gift of leadership she had with you, and for sharing with many a journey of life, a journey of faith, and a journey of friendship. So today we begin our mass by asking God to come with us today. They are the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As I said already, you are all very welcome to St. Anne's Church today to celebrate the great gifts of Mary in our journey of life, and to celebrate what she did for every one of you, and how you shared her affection, her love, and her leadership. Today is the day of all saying thanks. As we gather here today, we ask Almighty God to be with us. Lord Jesus, Mary came into the world as this baby. Today she leaves the world, going back to God Himself. She had faith, she had trust, and above all, she was there at all times to help all the family, husbands and the wives, and all those, the grandchildren. She was there for all the other great grandchildren. But so Lord, we thank you for a faith like that and a presence like that. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Lord Jesus, today is the day that we acknowledge the great gift of our work to our life. Today is the day we want to say thanks to the Lord. Christ, have mercy. Amen. Lord Jesus, we gather here today to pray for Mary. This is her church. This is a place she came to, and many other churches too, in the parish. So we thank God for her. Mary, we thank you for your gift of honesty, truthfulness, and love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. We hope it's it. We might pray ourselves. She has different connection to each one. So it's nice to remember to come to the here today. O God, who set a limit to this present life, so as to open up an entry into eternity, we humbly beseech you that, by the grace of your mercy, we may command the name of your servant here today, Mary Her, to be inscribed in this book of life. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Mm -hmm. I invite you to sit down now and invite readers to come up and read the Word of God. A reading from the Book of Lamentations. My soul is shut out in peace. I have forgotten happiness, and now I say to my strength is gone, the hope which came from the Lord, brooding on my anguish and affliction, is gone and wormwood. My spirit ponders it continually and sinks within me. 
This is what I shall tell my heart, and so recover hope. The favours of the Lord are not past. His kindnesses are not exhausted. Every morning they are renewed. Great is his faithfulness. My portion is, the Lord says in my soul, and so I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who trust him, to the soul that searches for him. It is good to wait in silence for the Lord to say, This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If we live, we live with the Lord, and if we die, we die with the Lord. So that alive or dead, we belong to the Lord. This explains why Christ both died and came to life. It was so that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. We shall all have to stand before the judgment seat of God, as scripture says, By my life it is the Lord who speaks. Every knee shall bend before me, and every tongue shall praise God. It is to God, therefore, that each of us must give an account of himself. This is for our Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's stand up with us. Lord, be with you. With you. Yeah. Reading the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord, be with you. He was that to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled, trust in God's sin and trust in me. For many rooms in my father's house, if so or not, I should have told you. Going now to be on a place you and after I've gone and prepared your place, I shall turn to take you with me. Who I am, you may be true. Know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said, Now we will know where you're going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way the truth and the life. No one who comes to the Father except through me. This is the gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ. I just want to say that when Mary departed this life the other day, when she met the Lord, all he said was, We're not all right. No need for us to go to quiet. <laughs> See it for a few moments, please. It's a wild horse that's very received the great gift of baptism. And that was not a right was linked to Jesus Christ. And Mary was definitely a link to that Jesus every day that she went to the church or said our prayers in our own home. Moreover, at that time, we join the people, the people of God. This means we no longer have to travel alone. Then Paul said, I've run the race, I've kept the faith, and i followed the plan. Like St. Paul, Mary has followed the plan. She was a woman of clean, solid faith. Call it spade is faith. When she came to Mass, she came to pray. When she went down to Italy, meet our people, she shared with them 
And when she went to the top that day, racing, she met more people and had more friends than anyone else to race with. And that is a, a testament to what Mary did for her journey in life. But I would like, first of all, to focus on the attention that Mary gave to prayer. Mary was a woman there, there. Well, the winter was long or short, but the summer was bright and happy. She went every day to a place called the church to say her prayers. And I'm sure she said them uh, over the years in the home, in the Julie, brothers and sisters, the grand grand nieces, and grand nieces, and great grand nieces, her to pray. I don't have to transform that into any other theory or anything like that. Today is a day about saying that we fought the fight. And near the end, St. Paul was able to say, I fought a good fight to the finish. I run the race. I kept the faith. Mary had that faith, that trust in God. As you grow older, I suppose Mary was one of our senior citizens. We go through life to a point when our journey in life becomes a little harder. And it's right that our work is done then. Mary kept her faith and trust in God. That she left nothing behind. The most important thing she carried with her is the faith and trust in God. Today is a day about acknowledging that Mary had finished the work she was sent to do. That was to love God and love her neighbor, love her family, share with them the journey of life. All of us need a challenge in life, and all of us need a journey. It's especially a debt that we are called to imitate the faith of Mary. A debt. Everything is left behind. We set out for a strange land, a new land, relying on God's promise. And if we have lived by faith, the last step of the journey would be no harder than any of the ones that went before. So today is a day about thanking God for the gift of her life. Mary walked by faith. Mary had the sight of faith, and faith guarantees us the blessings that we offer. Mary was a woman who shared the great gifts of life. I remember her first meeting with her was meeting herself and Tommy inside the dog tracking the water. She loved one over there. She loved to be there. She loved to have the dog with him, as anyone would. And she loved being with people. And it's amazing how many people came over and congratulated her and let her dog one. And when she came home, she always thought it said uh, he was better than he was, but she always had the second night to know that he had improved a bit in the meantime. So today in heaven, we acknowledge her faithfulness and her trust in God. As Jesus was dying on the cross, he said, In your hands, Lord, I can be my servant. Mary, today, you are now leaving this world behind. A one that has changed Mary. Massive changes. Who would believe that COVID 19 would be breaking the country at the moment? And Mary was a woman who lived by the Bible. She shared her faith. She put her trust in God's blessing that every day he would look after her. And when the time came to be called, she died in Hansen Peace. She died in the hands of the nursing staff. She died with her family and friends. So today is a day about acknowledging what she did in her life. She never insulted anyone. She never went behind anyone's back. She was there for everyone at all times. And she always had an old chat and a bit of fun. When she came out to her car and mass on the weekday morning, she'd meet someone, they'd have a chat. She might go to the shop. She might be in a rush to do with a waste of the meeting of San Medo Limerick, but every time she went with a smile on her face and came back a happy person. Mary Herman, you could be very proud of your attitude in life. If everyone had the joy and the spirit of Mary, everyone would have a different life. So today, Lord, we reach out to you and say, Mary is gone home. Mary is gone to your home. You said to anyone, anyone who gives a drop of water in my name, I will bring them to my home and I will appreciate what they have done to share their faith and their trust in God. As you leave your home, go back to your own home with heaven. We thank God for all the good things you did in your own home and over the years. And now today, Mary, we ask you to share eternal life with the saints of heaven and your mother and father, your brothers and your sisters, and all who come before you. We ask them many God today. We will acknowledge you by saying to God the Hail Mary, which he said so often. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed for the night of Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for the sinners now and at the hour of Now we 
Yes, he invites us, anyone who wants to read a prayer of faith, if anyone wants to come along to read one, we are more than welcome at any time. So. Okay, there's always a force that takes a notion that's today. Okay. <laughs> For those who sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, for those who cared for Auntie Mary in her final days, Lord, continue to bless them and and continue to give them strength and kindness. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who mourn today, that they will receive receive strength and assist them in their sadness and grief. Lord, hear. Our For our deceased relatives and friends, Lord, bring them into the light of your presence and give them a share in your glory. Lord, hear us. For all who knew the loved and Mary, Lord, may we draw inspiration from her life. Lord, hear us. We pray for our parents, we're kind of four, our brothers, sister. Not those who have died, our great friends in the lobby world, our great friends in the racing world, our great friends in the church over the years. We thank God for a person like that who was able to put a smile across the lot of people who are worried and lift their heart to those who are in need. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless of you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have this prayer to offer. For church is given to human hands and made to become for us the bread of life. And the mystery of this water and wine, where we come to share in the mystery of Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed be you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual Lord, I shall be my and of my sin. Pray now, friends, that our sacrifice may be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We hear, O Lord, we pray to your servant Mary, on whom we celebrate this funeral date. We offer you the sacrifice of reconciliation, so that, should any scale of sin have come her, or any human fault of affect her, we pray by your gift, be forgiven and wiped away. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just for duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. We will go by our own thoughts we perish, yet by your compassion and your grace, when seized by death, according to our sins, we are redeemed through Christ's great victory, and we him called back into life. And so, with the powers of angels in heaven, we worship you on earth, and before your house, we love him to be a day, holy, 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 God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, was not in the heights. Let's see your promise, in the name of the Lord, was not in the heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, upon the ball of holiness. May holy and every day be great by sending down your spirit upon them like the true God, so that they may be comfort us, the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time when we pray that the Willie will lead his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, spoke it, came to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body. Will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we read this prayer, we bring this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate the reward of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation. We be thanks for the Lord's worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by being of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Come on, Lord, your church, spread your own word, pray for the importance of charity, tell the cancer of hope, and the ambition of the Lord of Church. Remember Mary, who you have called this world to yourself, so the deceased and the subject of the thought from this. And if she would deny her son the death like this, she also would have taken the church match. Remember all the deceased members of your families who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in her mercy. Welcome Mary into the light of her face and all our family members today. And mercy is all the greater with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostle, with all the saints who will please you from the ages. We may merit the glory of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to pray, so now we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, and over in thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Praise you, grant us peace in our day. And by the help of your mercy, we may be all as free from sin. Save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look down our sins, but on the favor of church, and graciously grant our peace and good in the courts to him, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, the Holy One, the Holy the Son of the Word. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, have no warning, she lives in the room. But only said, say the Lord, my soul shall be. In the year of the Lord, we pray for your servant Mary, on whom we celebrate the gift of new life for today in heaven, so that to any sin or sin will come to her, or any who will fall in favor, be paid by your loving gift, be forgiven and wiped away. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you, Does someone want to say the word every day? Thank you. I think there's a lady here before the same thing, but I'm having a day. And uh, I think she was very precious to die this year, so I think it went on. We were all in the French club there, and she was all in the French club. Mary Herman is a force of nature, not like a hurricane or a flood, but more like gentle rays of sunshine and warm July evenings. 
Much like the summer sunshine, Mary touched the lives of many people and always brightened their days. I know my days were always brightened by four o'clock tea and seafood. This was the daily ritual in seafood, where we all trooped into the kitchen, mixed freshly brewed tea with farmer milk and salt over its bottoms. Mary would make sure that we all had warm scones and place to sit, even if that meant that she had to stand. Some days the room would be crowded as Mary welcomed in relations from across the country, and on other days Mary wasn't there at all, but still let scones warm on the stove. And where would Mary be? Out of the race, as usual, is the answer. Race meetings at Mallow, Tremor, Palmetto, and Wexford were great importance. We all made trips to the track of Mary, and we all remembered a three win and two place bet that she had on every German club runner. How delighted she would be every time I rode the train and had a big win, regardless of her own financial interest. But we all know the annual pilgrimage west was the highlight of Mary's calendar. When I told people that my octogenarian aunt was putting down a full week at the Galway race, they often thought I was joking. But those people clearly did not know my Auntie Mary very well. This, after all, was a woman who was out swimming in the sea last September. Speaking of glamorous events, Mary was a regular at the Wexford Opera Festival and generally a patron of the arts at all opportunities. Those days were more than just a chance to dress up, and Mary had a deep, genuine appreciation for good writing. So I'm not sure that this eulogy would give away her high standards. <laughs> Back to the kitchen and seafood, a place where I think I would always associate with Mary. The kitchen was a place where anyone could go at any time and know that Mary would meet you with a warm smile and kindness. Mary always made you feel important, insisting on coffee, cake, and a chat. I can only think of one exception to this rule, and it is, of course, bread unrelated. We used to joke that Mary's dogs ate better than most people. So when I had the audacity to suggest that the canine diet would change, I was met with a stern stare that told me all I needed to know about how valuable my opinion was in that area. But Mary, along with her team of brothers, was dedicated to those dogs, and we all enjoyed successful nights out on the track across the southeast because of that. I was enjoying a Sunday morning in the kitchen in Seafield a couple of weeks ago. Mary was invading me with stories of races from long ago, and through that I moved on to some local history. Mary's eyes lit up as she told me about another character from bygone days, and once again I was struck by the detail of her accounts. With perspective, this detail was part of the course that Mary's local history is well known, and no event around local history was complete without her attendance. All of those things would have meant little to Mary without her faith. The church gave Mary comfort when she needed it, and I think we will all rest a bit easier tonight, knowing that Mary had the kettle on in, the heaven, or in heaven today. We will see you soon someday, Mary, but for now, it's quite for Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, you for serving Mary when you turned in from this world. May my disciples be cleansed and free from sin. And so we see that we're asking God for resurrection. We ask this to you, Christ, God, Lord. Amen. The Lord give it to all. <laughs> now, may God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to know if you come up now,
See for soul of the to God the most high. In your hands, God of mercy, we commend our sister Mary Herman in the sure and certain hope that together all will die in Christ will rise of her last day. We give you the thanks, the blessings that Mary shared in Thanksgiving, which you bestowed upon Mary in this time. They are signed to us now of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ Jesus. Mercy the Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us to remain in comfort with one another with the assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with Mary Harden, our friend, our neighbor, our family member, whatever. To you, O Lord, we commend the soul of Mary in the sight of this world she has to die. In the new sight she will live forever. And in your goodness, grant her eternal peace as we take her to our place of rest. In peace now, let us take Mary, our sister, to our place of rest. <laughs> Thank you. 